Good afternoon. Another good day for work. Had some challenges kind of that the journey presents from time to time. We were running a little thin at the office of line. Uh, Kendrick Green, I gave a day off on a, for a personal matter. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow, but also within that, and that's usually the case, we had a, a few guys go down that were being evaluated, don't know the nature of those injuries, don't expect it to be significant. B.J. Finney left under his own power, and uh, J.C. did as well. Uh, so it created some challenges for those that remained. Um, but that's the nature of this thing. It kind of exercises the battles and the challenges that, that the season provides us. And so just a small sample size of that. I thought the offensive line largely did a nice job of adjusting and, and, and allowing us to finish the work. Um, and, and just really appreciative of that. Good competition. Um, it looked like less errors on both sides of the ball. Um, and, and, and that's reasonable to expect. We're not doing a lot of different things. Really, this is the third day in a row of some of the things that we've done. So you expect execution to be uh, improving over the course of that, and it was today. Uh, we'll roll the ball out tomorrow and see what, see what that day holds. I'll be happy to address any questions. When it happens with your centers, do you know who's number four, or do you say, hey, who can? We know. Yeah. We know. Is there anybody else behind us? Um, we, yeah, we use um, Coil also. Um, we, we always got little projects going on on the side. We got guys prepared to play. If you're not working four or five snappers, you're less than professional. Mike, you mentioned uh, Dan Moore was in a couple of battles out there today. What are your, what's your message to a younger guy when they get into those situations? You know, I'm, I'm not interested in coaching that, to be honest with you. We work our tails off to compete, but keep it professional. We acknowledge sometimes tempers are going to flare and those things are going to happen, but we're not wasting one iota of our time coaching it. We, we're, we're putting together a rough and tumble football group, not an MMA squad, so we're not coaching it. Coach, Robert Spillane made a really nice one handed grab today. What have you seen from him in coverage as he steps into the starter role after the experience he had last year? I'm not assuming that he's stepping in. You know, we're here competing to, to, to divide the labor up, and our work is going to determine what happens. But Rob, man, is a guy that ascended over the course of last year and had an opportunity to make some plays for us. Um, hopefully that's a springboard for him to continue to do some of the things that you saw him to do today and beyond. Uh, like his attitude, man, he came ready to go. Mike Bundich is a guy you brought back. Uh, made some good plays out there today. What do you like about this game? You know, he, he, he's a high-energy guy. Um, he's got great urgency. Other than that, don't know a lot about him. Just a lot of teaching and learning, uh, as is the case for a lot of these guys when they're really young and we're just getting to know them. Hey, Coach, over here at the running backs, they were using some balls that were beeping as they were trying to use some ball security and they were cutting. What was the purpose of those? Was it the fumble purposes? And did, have you guys, like, used that for analytics and just strengthening your program? It, it's just a ball security um, piece of equipment. We've got a bunch of equipment out here that helps us. Uh, make key points relative to fundamentals. Uh, we got water balls that are heavier than normal balls. We got balls, like you mentioned, that highlight pressure points. Uh, it's the use of technology in an effort to teach. It's really no big deal. I you see guys flash early in camp a lot, then they disappear time to time. What makes ones keep doing what they're doing and what makes ones step back? In your Usually some guys disappear when we put the pads on. You know what I mean? Um, the level of physicality gets too much for some. Uh, and that's usually the, the discussion. Speaking of putting the pads on, typically you would have had them on by now. Just, just do a little stretching this out a little bit. Is it a good thing, a bad thing? I don't care. Um, as long as it's the same for everyone, um, it's, it's not worth my time to spend any time plot, uh, thinking about it or pondering the possibilities. Um, it's fair because we're all adhering to it, and so we're going to utilize the opportunities for us to give it. We've been given and work on the things that we can. One more for Coach. They asked this already. Is there a reason Kendrick Green wasn't practicing today? Yeah, he was excused by me.